Hi everyone, welcome back to Rock Cafe Online and this is episode 5 of series 2 and the last in our series. So as ever, be sure to download the activity sheet in the description box below. News! Well done to Teddy for sending in craft from last week, so let's have a look at that. Thanks Teddy for sending that in. And for those of you who tuned into our All Age service on Sunday, you will have noticed that we had a shoe tower building competition. So let's have a few pictures of that. Well done to Robert and Helen for getting the highest tower. So you can try your own shoe tower at home. And if you'd like, you can send in your uh, tower height to Rock Cafe Online and we'll include that on series three. So some of you might have noticed that Derek's got a friend with him today and uh, it's, it's a homemade Baby Yoda uh, from the Mandalorian Star Wars series. Derek's a big fan. He's, he's been thinking about today's Bible reading because uh, one of Jesus's friends, Lazarus, um, was very ill and then he died. It's a, it's, it's a sad start to this, this Bible reading uh, this week. But Derek was thinking about the fact that Jesus had a, a good friend called Lazarus and he wanted to bring on his friend Baby Yoda today. So there we go. This Bible reading doesn't stay sad for very long because um, Jesus does something amazing. So as ever, the Bible reading will be on your sheet and it's probably easiest to read it from the sheet because I've taken it in little sections to condense it a little bit. If you do have your own Bible and you want to follow along in that, then great. It's taken from John chapter 11 verses 1 to 4, then verses 17 to 26, and then verses 38 to 44. Now a man named Lazarus was ill. He was from Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. This Mary, whose brother Lazarus now lay ill, was the same one who poured perfume on the Lord and wiped his feet with her hair. So the sisters sent word to Jesus, Lord, the one you love is ill. When he heard this, Jesus said, This illness will not end in death. No, it is for God's glory, so that God's Son may be glorified through it. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Now Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him but Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now God will give you whatever you ask. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha answered, I know he will rise again in the resurrection the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Do you believe this? Jesus, once more deeply moved, came to the tomb. It was a cave with a stone laid across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. But Lord, said Martha, the sister of the dead man, by this time there is a bad odour, for he has been there for four days. Then Jesus said, Did I not tell you that if you believe you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this for the benefit of all the people standing here, that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, Jesus called out in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth round his face. Jesus said to them, take off the grave clothes and let him go. Well, this is one of those passages that starts on a real low. There was sickness and death and lots of very upset people. It was Lazarus. He had been sick and then he died from his illness. Lazarus was a friend of Jesus and his sisters were friends of Jesus as well. Now, Jesus wasn't in the area when Lazarus was sick, but a few days later when he did arrive, Notice what Martha, Lazarus's sister, said to Jesus in verse 21. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, 
If you had been here, my brother would not have died. Martha knew that if Jesus had been in the area when her brother was sick, he would have turned out okay, he would have been made better because Jesus could have healed him. But that didn't happen because Jesus wasn't in the area at the time. That wasn't part of God's plan. God had the plan that Jesus was going to bring Lazarus back from the dead. And he was going to do that so that people might believe in Jesus. That people might believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Notice in verse 25 that Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live, even though they die. And after he said that, he brought Lazarus back from the dead, didn't he? He had power over death. He had power to bring him back to life. That doesn't normally happen, does it? Only God can do things like that. And this shows us that Jesus is God the Son, with power over death and with power to bring people to life. You see, Jesus is the author of life. He's in control of death and life, and he himself died so that we might live. He died on the cross and was raised again three days later so that we could be brought back to God. So Jesus raised Lazarus so that people would believe in him. So something to think about this week is, does your family believe in Jesus? Does your family believe that he is the one sent by God to bring us back to God? Do you believe that he is the one who brings eternal life? I'm going to pray now. And if you want to make my prayer your prayer, then you can say Amen at the end. Father in heaven, thank you that Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. Thank you that he did this so that more people would believe in him. We pray that you would help us to believe in Jesus, to believe that he is the resurrection and the life, so that we too will have eternal life. In his name we pray. Amen. Craft. So today's craft, everyone, is all about Lazarus. So here we have um, the scene. Lazarus is currently in the tomb at this point. And if we pull, pull it that way, they pull the stone away and we can see Lazarus alive and coming out of the, the tomb. So there we go, that's the craft. So let's see how we do this. So let's start off by colouring it in. two slits and the tomb entrance. You need to feed the strip through and then glue on the characters either side. Good, well hopefully you managed that craft. Now as ever, Derek had a go at the craft, so let's see how he got on a bit earlier. Good job, Derek. Prayer for Terrington. This week, we're going to pray for everyone who's on their own in the village, particularly for those who are shielding from the coronavirus. So as ever, the words will be on the screen and you can join in at home. So let's pray for Terrington. Lord God, we thank you for our homes and families and all the good things we enjoy. We pray for everyone in the village who is on their own, 
especially those who are shielding. We pray that they would be getting the support they need from others, that people would be good at keeping in contact with them, and that they would be kept safe. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Challenge. Let's see what today's challenge is. So today's challenge, everyone, is get the tea bag into the cup. And it's uh, a lot harder than it looks. So you need a cup, a tea bag, and a measuring tape. And you need to measure two meters from the cup and then place the tea bag onto your foot and try and flick it in to the cup. Uh, see how you get on and uh, let us know if you manage it. This one is a real challenge. Well, that's all for this week, everyone, and for Series 2 of Rock Cafe Online. So Derek and I are going to be planning Series 3 over the next few weeks, and we'll post an update on the YouTube channel to let you know when we're going to be back. We're also going to try and tie in the Summer Service Series on Sundays to Rock Cafe Online this year, so stay tuned for that. Our church service will be on the YouTube channel this Sunday, so hopefully you'll be able to tune into that. So have a good week, everyone, and stay safe.